Okay. Last thing, the pain is almost over. Let me just do one other step with this. And the one other step that uh, I see most textbooks and most, uh, most professors want you to do, something else once you get these Marshallian demands here, is let's go ahead and uh, get an indirect utility function. Now, if you have the mother of all consumer theory handouts of mine, get it out. If you don't, go to my website right now and download it. www.perkyacademy.com uh, I'll just flash it up on the screen. My hand just apparently is not going to make any sense today. Um, and I'll put a link in the comment section below of this video. Download the mother of all consumer theory handouts. In order to get an indirect utility function, after you have the Marshallians, is just plug these back into the utility function. So, the kind of gross version of that is going to look like this u equals remember what our original utility function way up here looks like a times x to the row plus b times y to the row to the one over row so we just want to plug in x star for x and y star for y so what we're going to have here is a times x star let's just plug in that whole thing there b px to the r minus 1 px to the r plus py to the r and then this optional a over b to the r minus 1 all to the row plus and then over here we plug in y star so we have b times Budget, price of y to the r minus 1, divided by price of y to the r, plus price of x to the r, a over b, to the r minus 1. And all that to the 1 over rho minus 1, which again, if we want it in terms of r's, we just write that in terms of r minus 1 is the same as 1 over rho minus 1. I mean, sorry, 1 over rho. Wait a minute. No, I'm just, I just almost made a mistake there. Right at the end. You know what? Just so that, so that we don't shoot ourselves in the foot right here at the, at the very last moment, let's not use the r's, okay? Let's just, let's just, let's just go back to the rows and then we are less likely to make mistakes so let me go out back and plug those in all right so there's what we got all right now let's do some simplification the first thing you know i'm kind of sick of carrying these a over b parameters around all right let's just let's nuke those let's nuke those i'm just i've carried them this far all right i like that better already now, oh, and these and these two, sorry, and those two. All right, let's just assume those are equal to one. I'm kind of tired of carrying them around. All right, so now we're going to uh, simplify this thing. And again, this is this is now our indirect utility function, where all you have to do is plug in prices and budget, and it tells you how much utility the person's going to get without having to go through and calculate how much x and y they're going to get and then plug it into the utility function. We, we've kind of done it all already here right now. But this is a bit ugly and we can simplify it pretty easily. The slog is almost over. We're, we're getting close here. So what we want to do now, first step, we're going to distribute these exponents to everything on the inside here. All right, so let's do that. Not all that difficult, not all that difficult. So we'd multiply ex exponents since we're raising this these to a power. So we're gonna end up here with B price of X to the rho over rho minus one divided by price of X. 
And I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to distribute to these. I'm just going to keep those together because I suspect something's going to cancel here in just a second. And here's, let, let me, let me tell you what my, what my suspicion is. You see that there? You see that there? It's identical now. We have since, and this is this is one reason for getting rid of that that a over b term. Now we have the exact same thing in the denominator here, so I think this is just going to be able to easily cancel in just a second. So I'm going to keep those intact. So rho over rho minus one plus price of y to the rho over rho minus one. I'm just going to distribute the power like this without really bringing it inside those, those uh, bottom parentheses there. Plus, we're going to have the same, same kind of thing over on this side. We're going to have B price of Y over 1 over rho minus 1. Except when we distribute that power, we multiply and we get rho over rho minus 1. And then same thing. Let's just keep that all together on the bottom. and raise that to the row. All right, so now we've got all that on the inside. Now we want to raise everything to the one over row. Well, now we see that we have these same denominator on the bottom. We can just add these on the top. And so we can simplify this this way. The budget times, all right, so we have the budget times both of these. Budget times the price of x plus the price of y, and both of those are to the row over row minus 1. And then on the bottom we have a common denominator, so price of x row row minus 1 plus the price of y. Row, row minus one to the row. So I, I, I misspoke when I when I said before those were going to cancel. Instead of canceling, I, what I was trying to say in my mind was that those are going to be a common denominator. Okay. So now, lastly but not leastly, we have this one over row power on the outside over here. Oh, wait a minute. Now I do see something. Now I do see something very cool. Hopefully you noticed it too. We have the same thing. Oh, yeah. Okay. So when I talk about canceling, yeah, I, 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 my mind kind of knew what I was talking about. We have kind of the same thing here, except the one down here is to the row power. Ah, so we can cancel. So when you have, so again, we have this px to the row over row minus 1 plus py to the row over row minus 1. That's to the first power. We have the exact same thing down here to the row power. So we can cancel or divide, and you subtract the exponents when you divide. Aha, so here we have b times to the 1 minus row power. Since it takes that one minus that power, you subtract exponents. All right, and then we have that to the, all to the one over row power. And so that makes it very easy. Now we just multiply these exponents. So what's row one over row times one minus row? Well, we just, uh, we're just gonna put that in the denominator there. One minus row over row, and that, handles that. And that, my friends, my pals, is about as simple, simple as we are going to get that thing to be. So that is our indirect utility function. And after all that, man, I'm tired. And I know you are. Watching me do this is probably more painful than me actually doing this. So we have our indirect utility function. We have our Marshallian demands. 
and we could do some of the other things on the mother of all utility analysis worksheets. If you have any special requests, let me know. Or if there's any any step here, I I know I went through it very slow and very painfully and very painstakingly, but um, I did so to try to minimize the questions. Where'd that come from? How did you do that? But if there are still any questions, or if you see any kind of mistake I've made, something that looks wrong, please let me know. Otherwise, this is Dr. Berkey signing out. Good luck on doing your own utility analysis with analytical functions. If you like this video, please subscribe. Please like the video at least. And if you really love me for going through all this, consider my Patreon page. I'll have a link down in the comment section below. Thank you very much.